Hey, what's going on, your boy TV? Now we are back with another catch up video. We catching up with uh Kalov and uh Ishmael. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, man. We jumping right into it. Subscribe if you're new. It's free. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video. I don't want y'all to miss when it drop. I want y'all to get it. So turn the notifications on. Um, and we're going to get right into it. All right. Don't forget to check out the new podcast on the main channel, Real Talk, Pill Talk Podcast. That'll be popping up uh, towards the end of the video and probably like right now. Let's get it. How many times am I say let's get it? I don't know. Come on, baby. Come on with this soft R&B. It's soft, soft, smooth. Going good. pretty good. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here today with Kalavi and Ishmael. Welcome, y'all. Hey. How we feeling? Yeah, y'all doing pretty good. pretty good. All right, good, good, hey, Don't good. look happy, so guys. We had you all on episode four of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. Is it a yes for you, for him? Okay. Yes. See, I don't, re I don't be remembering them sitting down like that, but now I remember both of them. Okay, he has shades on. That's what threw me with him. Um... And I remember her in that fit in that bucket hat. But it's cool to see the, the shape of her head now, Is too. it a yes for you for her? Yes, definitely. We got a match! <laughs> I'll go ahead and take that. Thank, Thank you, you for coming on. I'll go ahead and let y'all go. Hey, go on off. Hey! <laughs> and, you know, the video has... Oh, no, she still got a hat on. Oh, man, what's up? what's up with your head, man? What you got, a bullet head, yo? What kind of head shape you got, yo? You had like a little jacket on then too. What's going on, man? I'm gonna, I'm gonna check your Instagram. We're out. getting quite a lot of traction. It's going all over TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. Um, so since the video has came out, um, how has like the social media attention and everything been for you? Um, we can start with you, Kalavi. Um, I've been I've been getting a little bit of attention. Um, both like good and nails. bad, depending on how you want to look at it. But for me personally. Um, I don't really, you know, I take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. You know, okay. Just... What is that? Even so mean? Just... Uh -huh. Go ahead. I know where we're going to say. <laughs> I was going to say, what's, what's the bad and what's the good that you've um, been getting? So it's not necessarily like bad, bad. It's just like little comments. Like people, uh, the other day I seen somebody comment on my picture. Um, like, oh, you know, s something about me being a colorist or something. Oh. What? Yeah. And I'm like. Yeah, that's like colors is crazy because I I love chocolate. <laughs> yeah, and it was all because of the the comment that I made about the crusty lips. I guess oh, they got okay. colors. Oh, like that. I don't the know. little African buddy, you told me this shit was crusty. Yeah. <laughs> but I got a lot of good comments, more good than bad. Okay, um, that's good. Hey, well, women, boy, that's so damn true, boy. Women can get a hundred good comments. They see one bad one and mess their whole damn day up. Shit is crazy. You you get twenty thousand good comments. You see three people and that's stuck with you. De de delete and block their ass and move on with your life. You know, I got people piggybacking off of that, saying mm -hmm. like, "How is she a colorist? You're, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're, you know, um, projecting, yeah, and things of that sort." So they they kind of help me out. Okay, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't trip. I think it's funny to be honest. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, all right. And Ishmael, what about for yourself? Uh, I'll say uh, good and bad. You know, is uh, okay. I mean, actually, I, me personally, I wouldn't say bad because it's all good for me. But mm -hmm. uh, you just said I'm bad, much like. Uh, pretty goofy person yeah. so they were saying you know commenting how uh i said that i was an actress and definitely not an actress i'm an actor okay. so <laughs> <She ain't think laughs> be clear <laughs> uh I, I had some you know some drinks already so i just it was just a mistake and it was just like nobody else noticed so it was kind of like i don't know but anyway that's clear i'm an actor y'all but uh also it was just uh my i seen a couple of, like my glasses were crooked and different stuff like that look yeah i already had a couple of drinks look you know just take it as entertainment i guess right yeah. like <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was something I was going to mention. Um, you calling yourself an actress, so that was just yeah. you had to, a little too many to drink. Is that yeah, what it was? <laughs> I just I don't, I don't even know. I, I should have caught it, but it's just you know, it was just probably me being on the show and being excited and stuff like that. You yeah, know? but I say I got good stuff as well. You know, I got a lot of followers. I got people from you know back home calling me, "Yo, did y bro, is this you?" It was funny because uh, I had one of my little cousins uh, message me. They was like, "This looks like you," and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, little cuz, that's me. Like, what are you talking about? They're like, swear. And I'm like, yes, that's me, bro. Like, so it's been it's it's been good. I okay, like okay, that's too that's good to hear. Oh, family recognition, and then, so that's just all to love. Kind of get to know each of you a little bit more. Um, Kalavi, if you want to start off, anything you want to let us know about yourself and all that stuff. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, I right now, you know, I've been my focus is photography. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a photography teacher at a high school as well. Nice. Teaching at a high school. Um, 
<laughs> so how'd you get into photography? Um, I actually started modeling in 2008. Okay. And um, a lot of times I would take pictures with a lot of male photographers. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really like their angles. I didn't really like how, you know, they were getting my angles. A lot of guys don't know. Like, there's... Hey, we be knowing. Women be mad. Be like, oh, why you ain't telling me my back rolls were showing? It, them your back rolls. You, you knew you had back rolls when you came out the house. You want me to... Get, I got get out. I don't... I just take the pictures. If you got back rolls on your back, that's, that's what you got going on. But them male photographers do be trying to saw y'all up, have a couple drinks, do some extra things, though. They be trying to do a little something, something. Some angles you just can't take with, right. with girls. Like, never take one from the bottom, Hello. you know. Or <laughs> like, you know, if she's, if she's you know, doing a little, you got to make it, just make it look good. You uh -huh. got to get it from a certain angle. To see, that's why I do is take pictures like this. We be like this in our pictures. So when you see us, it is what it is. We're not sticking our leg out a certain way to make our ass look bigger or make it look like we got more ass. This is what you get. Y'all be trying to do all that shit now. You see, you, we see you in person. They be like, man, hold up, man. This ain't. You start looking at Instagram, looking at her. Come on now. Make it look good. So I started taking my own pictures mm -hmm. and then just kind of got into it like that. Okay, mm -hmm. cool, cool. Well, good for you. And then so you, you said this was back in 2000? 2008. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. And then you decided to just merge it into teaching or how did that come about? So the teaching thing actually kind of just happened. Okay. Um, I met her. Um, I met my boss at a salon. Okay. Um, I was getting, uh, I, actually, I wasn't getting my hair done, but I, I'm good friends with the hairstylist. Mm -hmm. um, and she was there getting her hair done, and the hairstylist mentioned that, you know, I did, you know, um, photography. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of went from there. She, We started talking, and after we started talking, she's like, oh, you know what? I think that you'll be a good fit. You know, oh. let's, can we set something up? Uh -huh. You know, she kind of pitched pitched the idea to me and I thought about it and like, you know what? That wouldn't be too bad. I yeah. wouldn't mind trying that. Cool. So yeah. Okay, that's opportunity. Cool. It's been two years now. Good job, man. Yeah, it's still going. So. Okay, good luck with that. Yeah, that sounds like it's like really fun. You get to teach other people. Come on, what let's get to this date. Let's so. get to the juicy that's stuff. Awesome. It's a lot of a lot of life lessons <laughs> within it because it's a hot different shows. I'm in a movie already. So uh, I got some uh, scripts that I'm practicing right now that's going to be coming, but it's called Sticky Situations. Okay. Go check it out. I forget the other app that I forget those other apps that are out there, but I know for surely on Tubi, Sticky Situations. Y'all go check it out. Okay, that's boy, I'm trying to tell you, but, but young male up in there, man. Nah. <laughs> and now, are you like a main character in there? Oh uh, no, definitely not no main character. It was more just. Hey, old man, you know that man wasn't the main character. Man, he just called himself an actress in the last joint, man. Real Talk, Pill Talk, if you in a web series, go watch Buried Web Series on the main channel. Six episode web series. I'm the main character. Go check that out. It's called Buried on the main channel. It's lit. I'm going to link that at the end of this video, too. I'm going to link the whole playlist. It's on some, Ask that man uh, be the main auntie, character. She was, she was making the movie. She produces film. So uh, you can check her out. She's working on a bunch of different stuff in Atlanta. So uh, it was an opportunity that where she needed somebody for a specific role mm -hmm. to uh, to play. And I was perfect for the fit. So right. I just, you know, I jumped at it. I, it was something, you know, I jumped on it. So. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we look forward to seeing you in more movies. Okay, okay. Yeah, I will. Because <laughs> in the future, that's the goal. Yes. It's going up. <laughs> All right. As we saw on the show, you guys did end up matching. And the they, question they not even looking at each other, bro. Look at her right there. I, I didn't even mean to pause it right here like this. Look at her. It's uncomfortable. What the hell happened, fam? That is on everyone's mind. Look, she's Since adjusting you guys the hat. Have matched. Have you gone on a date? They're both looking down. Yes. Oh, yes, we did. oh they went yes, on a date. We did. We did. Okay. <laughs> like, can you guys let me know how the date went? Oh, like, when did it happen? God. All that stuff. Who wants to go? <laughs> Uh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, she can go first. <laughs> um, you said you wanted to know how it happened and when. Yeah, and let me know about the day. Like, how was it? Was it a good experience? You the All that good stuff. So you know, it was cool. It was, it was, it was, it was an experience. Lies. Okay. Oh, um, lies. It was cool. It wasn't, it, cool. it wasn't necessarily what I expected. There it is. Um, not necessarily in a bad way though. Mm. So I want to just put that out there. Man, let's get into the shit, man. It was cool. It was an experience. It wasn't what I expected. Not in a bad way. I just want to put, let's get this shit cracking. No more sugar coats. It wasn't necessarily, in a, it just wasn't what I expected. It wasn't giving. And in, in yeah. what way? What yeah, thank you. Great question. What were your expectations and what was the date? It's just, so initially, um, <clears throat> 
I believe that we had kind of like went over like what the idea of first date would be in the mm-hmm. episode yeah. on episode four. If y'all haven't watched that, uh, by the way, make sure you check it out. That part. Okay. Um, all the episodes, actually. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so in the episode, he kind of mentioned like a uh, rooftop settings, uh-huh. you know, it kind of, yeah. it, it sold me. Rooftop settings. I'm like, oh, okay. It sold me. Kind of mm-hmm. smooth, suave. I'm right, because you had to pick between two guys, right? And right. And I had to ask them, okay, if you had to take her on a date, mm-hmm. what would that date be? Okay. Right. It mm-hmm. seemed, you know, and I picked him, I picked his option because it seemed like planned out, mm. rooftop, nice. He, it was, it was, I was sold, yeah. you know? Um, so, yeah. And it just wasn't that. So, mm. okay. Did you guys go to a rooftop? We did not go to a rooftop. No. Okay. Okay. So, what was the first day? Where'd you guys end up going? Mm. So, <clears throat> we went to a movie. Okay. Which is nothing wrong with the movies. Don't get me wrong. It's nothing wrong with a movie. You know, especially if you're on some chill stuff, it's nothing wrong with a movie. I personally, you know, I personally would not take someone on a first date to a movie. Mm-hmm. You know, that wouldn't be a first date for me um, for for a number of reasons. You know, for one, you can't really converse, you know, talk to the person because you're watching yeah. the movie the whole entire time. It's dark, time. too. Um, it's just, you know, and then My dog took it to the I movies. feel like it's like kind of high schooly you know mm-hmm. unless unless you know it's like i said you just both just want to be on some chill stuff or whatever but mm-hmm. for the first date you know i just i just wasn't expecting the movie's high schooly i feel like you only do it in high school cuz you don't you don't have anything else to do you got more options as an adult but the movies the movies high schooly especially these theaters now these just the seats recline and shaking and shit you can get food and hit a button and they come out that's i don't know about that one Tell me what y'all think. Is the movies high school he put it? I wish I could do a poll in the comments. But let me know. The movie deal. But okay. yeah, it was just a couple of things that happened like along the day that I just wasn't expecting. Like the mm-hmm. whole thing. The whole picture that was painted for me, it just wasn't it. All right. So Ishmael, she said she was expecting a rooftop day, all this <laughs> stuff. Did you guys end up going to the movies? You want to go ahead and get into that as well? Absolutely. Because huh, rooftops is definitely my thing. And that's definitely what I tried to do, but you know, according to her schedule, according to her situation she had going on, it that's just what had happened. So wow. it really wasn't what I had expected initially as well, to be honest. Like I didn't expect to have to go like, you know, pick her up type shit. Like she got no car. Grown, we should have vehicles like that, different stuff. Like, you know, I'm not trying to talk no 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 type of nothing. So and no that car? was what I tried to do, you know. I wouldn't have picked her up. I'd have called her Uber. I would have called her Uber to the spot. I wouldn't have picked her up, though. We talk all that. She's busy. She's photo, you know, doing her, doing photography, mm-hmm. all that different stuff. She ain't got the time. So that's just what, you know, we, we had came to agreements on because of all that. Okay. So it's, it's definitely not uh, something that is like, like she like left it just up to me. It was just, just certain situations that happened, you know. So uh, I just wanted to be real about that. And let me clear it up. I wouldn't have picked up because... I like to get up out of there. Some shit pop off, something pop off. You know what I mean? She could have an ex that got her location or something. I got to get up out of there. I don't want to be like, oh, I got to take her back, do all this. Oh, no, I got to. I'm not even pulling up over there at your crib. I don't even know what's going on with the living arrangements there, with that hood. Look, you might be in the hood, baby. You might stay in the hood. I can't be. I'm not pulling up over there. Ray Ray and them all outside, rolling dice, drinking ODs and shit. Nah, I'm not pulling up over there. Meet me at the spot. I'll call you an Uber. Because uh, the rooftop definitely could have happened. I spent more because I paid for the date. I spent more As at the should. dine in movie, too. It's not just a movie. We went to the dine in movie. Okay, she took the head off, guys. I think we see that head. Leave that head alone, man. You know you coming on, on a video. Why you messing with the head? The head is dope. Shout out to that 06 championship. That was a great game. Shout out to Vince Young. Just seen his ass get knocked out on the viral video on the bar. Sucker punched. He's, you know what I'm saying? Reggie Bush dodged a bullet. He could have got Kim K knocked up. That was, shout, out, shout out to both of them where we ate and really enjoyed ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I heard, what I, my response, what I got was she- The hair looked nice, you know, it's good parts, I like it, I like it. She enjoyed her time, she actually wanted a, another date. Okay. You know, to go out on another date, mm-hmm. so. Cause so I spit, that's what I was interrupting, let's go back. I spit more, cause I paid for the date. I spent mm-hmm. more at the dine-in movies too, it's not just a movie. We went to the dine-in movies, you know what I'm saying, where we ate and really enjoyed ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
I heard what I, my response, what I got was she enjoyed her time. She actually wanted a, another date, okay, you know, to go out on another date. Mm-hmm. So, because we had we had connected for real, we yeah. we connected and had some deep talks. So she talks about that like with the movies, but we had already had that, you know. She looks so unbothered and uninterested. She's not even looking at him. I'm saying because we had actually met up one time prior prior to that, where I actually had to go to her again. You know what I'm saying? Because of certain situations, you know, mm-hmm. that I don't need to speak on. But I was just, you know, willing to do that. And I'm a very busy individual. I work during the day. I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. And I'm involved in a bunch of other stuff. So for me to make time, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so. But anyway, uh, it wasn't really all what I expected. But I didn't really mind that. that, that I'm, I'm like a real person. I don't I don't really go off with, like, little things that I know that it's, you know, everybody deals with Everybody deals with life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm not, I'm not one to really be moved by something like that, you know? Uh, okay. I'm, you know, so, okay. yeah. Okay, all right. And so, Kalavi, um, he kind of mentioned, like, he had to pick you up and things like that. Um, he said you were having some car problems? What happened? Oh, I don't know. What what was going I'll on let you that? being and messy. He, he made it sound like it wasn't planned that you were supposed to be picked up, basically. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Uh-oh. With that. Um, that for about two or three days, I didn't drive my car. Okay. Um, I didn't drive my car because I needed to get an oil change and I just didn't want to drive my car. I knew that there was no oil in it. I know how to check my oil. Um, my grandpa used to own his own shop. Mm -hmm. So I learned, you know, a little bit about cars, checked it, seen it was no oil in it, not driving it. So, you know, but we did had already, we already made the plans. So, you know, I still wanted to, you know, kick it with them. So I'm like, they are, they did already make the plans. Shit happens like this all the time, but why not just get an oil change? Or if you, if you, if, yeah, if he showed you how to, to, to check the oil, did he show you how to change the oil? Why not just take care of your car? Why do women wait and do their car like this? Y'all really don't be trying to get an oil change. Y'all go get a manicure, a pedicure, a facial, but won't go get an oil change. This is crazy. Okay, well, is it cool if you just come get me? So mm-hmm. it's not like I have struggled with transportation or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. I've been driving since I was 12, having a car <laughs> since I was 18. So mm-hmm. um, anywho, with that, was, that was that, right? And then as far as, you know, the, the scheduling and all of that, honestly, I feel like he's just saying, he's, he's, he's saying a lot, but not saying, he's really not saying much, mm. you know? And what I mean by that is, um, first off, with the whole scheduling thing, mm. I would literally, I literally told him what my schedule was, you know? And I feel like ba- after that, it's up to you to mm. decide what, you know, how you fit in what, you know, as far as scheduling and where we go and things of that sort. You're the guy, you're planning the date, Mm -hmm. that's your job. You know, I told you my availability. Yes, I'm a little busy, but again, I told you my- You gotta think too, if you're a little busy, you know, it's not only your schedule, he gotta adjust, he he has his own schedule too. So both of y'all schedules have to align. Availability, I told you the windows, Mm -hmm. as far as when we can do something, it's not like impossible for us to do anything. So I feel like what he chose to do is what he chose to do because that's what he wanted to do for whatever reason. Towards the end of the date, and after, you know, time went past, I, now I'm starting to think maybe that's all he could do. Mm. Like, not to be funny, but maybe that's all he could do. And it's just like, if that was the case, then just say that. You know, just okay. be just be honest. Keep it real. If you, you know, are in a situation to where, you know, we can't really do much, but you want to spend time with me and, you know, keep it honest. You know, just keep it on it. Like, hey, look, I don't really have this or that, but... Right now, I got a little situation going on. I do want to spend time with you. I just what 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 situation? Uh, oh, I think she's comparing it because she she ain't hit the rooftop and they went to the movies. But the movies ain't cheap. Them damn movie tickets like twenty dollars a ticket now. You can go get damn Twizzler. Uh, one Twizzler costs seventeen dollars. So it's not a cheap day. He probably still spent at least a, a hundo or some shit at a rooftop. You gonna probably spend like one fifty. You know, depending on how many drinks y'all get. And the tip and all that stuff, probably hundreds of one fifty. I don't understand that. And and you the one with no working car. Why is this about money and your and your car ain't got no oil change? Like if you down bad, he could be. He could think the same thing. If you down bad and you ain't got no money, get an oil change. You know, I understand that. Why is everything about money, bro? It does not have to be about finances, y'all. Social media is. I don't even want to blame social media. It, it, can't spend a whole bunch of money right now. 
is it cool if we just do this, you know, and this is going to be the situation mm -hmm. and leave it up to me whether or not if I want to decide if I want to move forward with the date or whatever or just talking to him or whatever the case may be. OK, uh, don't choose for me by, um, you know, saying we're going to do rooftop, but it's the movies. And mm. yes, it was dying in, but it's AMC. Mm. Like, what the fuck wrong with AMC? AMC down here is nice as hell. You can even go to the upstairs and they got the couches where you can go watch a movie. And she, But it sounded like she was just hell bent on the rooftop scenery. I don't know. Maybe she wanted to take some Instagram pictures or some shit and she thought like, oh, I'm going to a rooftop. I live in South Florida. It's a rooftop. You can eat. You can go to a brunch on a rooftop. It's hella rooftops. It's, it's not all it's cracked up to be. You want to go out and see a view of the city? Okay, that's cool. But it ain't all it's cracked. I don't even want to eat on the rooftop. I don't even want to eat outside. It's hot. You know what I mean? I want to be in the AC. I'm good, but I guess. So I feel like he, when he said that part, human and shit. Like, don't try to, don't try to do me. Like, it was AMC theater. Mm -hmm. We had chicken strips that was warmed up in a microwave. Like, and I'm not trying to be funny. I have no, no issues with eating chicken strips. You messing up your AMC brand deal right now? Come on now. Strips. That's not the point. My hey, point my, is, hey, my fault. You chose chicken strips. Now I see that shit. I told you. Uh, uh, for the most part, yo, they do got other options. You can get a burger. You can get some other shit, some something. They got other stuff there. Chicken tenders is normally or chicken strips. I don't call them strips. I call them chicken tenders. That's a safe bet. Chicken tenders and fries. You can't muck that up. So that's why a lot of people choose that. It's just to be honest about your situation. Because I feel like if you're, especially when you're initially getting to know somebody and you're in the, in the beginning stages of, of dating someone or talking to someone like talking not the movies is a dumbass date if you're trying to get to know someone and it's the first date and you want to talk y'all in the dark it's not much talking but y'all did look sound like y'all y'all ate before at like a dining or so i don't know what dating. the hell happened um <clears throat> you should just be honest about who you are off by you being authentic that's what's gonna sell that's what's gonna make me that's what's gonna draw me to you yeah like i think that's why i think that's why because the other joint I, I reviewed, that's why these guys aren't authentic and real. Because they know it's so money driven and it's so about status. You can't even get. To, they like they like I, they, they they feel like they got to lie or they got to finagle because they like bam. If she gets to know me, she'll like me. But if it's just all about the bells and whistles, she's not. There's more options out there. She's not gonna rock with me. So maybe these guys are doing that type of shit because they already know how sad the dating pool is and it's all about materialistic and money and 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 rooftops. He took me to the movie theater and we ate at the movie theater and he he, he picked you up. Shit, he paid for the date. Shit, damn. I wouldn't. I, I still think a movie theater date for the a movie. Theater date for the first date is ass cheeks because you really can't communicate. If we go into the movies, we a couple dates in, like, cause I'm moving that arm rest, we rubbing each other legs, we snuggled up, we chilling, we on a we on a vibe, like you know what I'm saying. And and the, the last few movies I've been to, like, bit we bringing in candy, you know, I'm buying a wine bottle. Bring your big purse, cause we sneaking this wine bottle in. I'm just letting you. That's what we're, I'm down with the get down. You know what I'm saying, like. I, I like doing shit we ain't supposed to be doing. I, I love, like, oh, shit, we snuck it in. Oh, we good. Pop that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You hear that pop. You hear that, that wine bottle, that cork pop up out of there. Shit, we Gucci. I got the cuffs, baby. I'm going to bring the cuffs, baby. Like, if it's his situation, let's say if he's just in a bad situation, or maybe just at that, that was just a bad month for him or whatever. And I would be like, hey, if I were him, I would have hit him, hit me up like, hey, look, I ain't going to lie to you. I got a situation right now. I can't really do much. But look, I want to chill with you. <laughs> Just know that we finna go to this. We going to dine in, but it's going to be at AMC. You can look, ball out, get whatever you want, all the popcorns. And, I got to look uh, up y'all AMC. Fries, whatever you want. I got to look up y'all AMC in Arizona. Y'all must got to ask Cheeks AMC. These movie theaters down here are top notch. They are nice. The, the movie theaters even have a daycare service in it if you want to drop the kids off at them all. Pizza cuts, flatbread, whatever you want. But up. that's that's all I could do right now. Is that cool? Again, like that's all that's all I was looking for. AMC, My bad. I was kind of long way on that, but that's pretty much. Was there anything like that happened or you saw something that would make you think like, oh, this is all he can? Do right now oh that shit did. Yeah. Generic yeah it was just the little little things throughout the day and again like y'all theater don't look like i theater. it do look a little generic out there put some paint on it it shouldn't need to be reupholstered 
Honestly, I per- I personally thought it was funny, not in a like in a ha ha type of way, like <laughs> just funny, like Simpson. oh this dude is wild, and like why don't he just like just keep it a hundred? So mm-hmm. first of all, when he pulls up, I wasn't expecting him to pull up in the car that he pulled up in. First and foremost, okay. What was, what was uh, you expecting okay. me to pull up in? Hold up. All right, so I was not not that. Yes! I just wasn't expecting that. But somebody, for somebody to be talking. Damn, what that you man pulled up, pull up in? A PT Cruiser? I wasn't expecting him to pull up in the car that he pulled up in. First and foremost. Okay. What was, what was uh, you okay. expecting me to pull up in? Ooh. All right, so I was just not not that. All right, I just I'm about wasn't to get expecting that. For somebody for somebody to be talking talking and be saying, cool. you know. The bag is there, and you know all of this. All type about of money. Talk. Go and check out the episode and rewind parents. what I said. I said after. Per- it's all about money. Why you keep bringing up the bag? That uh, he, well, he did say it, fellas. If you leave, if you lead with your wallet, if you keep talking about I got the bag, I got the money. That's what they expect. It, no, I don't got no bag. I want you like me for me. I know I'm a dope, po- dope person. I know I got dope personality. I know I'm fun. I'm charismatic. I'm funny. I can hold a conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm punctual. I can speak well. I'm, all of that. I'm clean, groomed. Stop talking about how you got the bag, how you be getting to the money, how you get into it. Because that's what they expect now. Oh, girl, I got to find me a ball. I found me somebody that could do this. I am not the help. I'm not going to promote being the help. I, and that, if you need help, Go find some help. Because I ain't the help. I'm going to find somebody that's going to work hard like I'm working hard. They got that dog in them. That's that, 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 I don't know. This shit is giving, I want it rooftops. You ain't picked me up in the right car. You told me you had the bag. Now, your ass is wrong, too, if you lying and promoting that shit. Stop promoting that. Personality, the, if the personality is there, the bag is there. So go rewatch that. I ain't say the bag was there. Rewatch it, and you gonna say and I'm getting senses you'll, you'll of a gold dick to talk about. That's what verbatim. got you. Oh no, don't trip. Trust <laughs> me, the bag is there. But anywho, we we not gonna do that. I'm not gonna. You already did. Back and forth. So now I forgot what I where I was at. You're talking about the, the car. What he was driving? Oh yeah, so I was a PT Cruiser. I, I was. What is yeah, well, so it's yeah. it's nothing. So it's Google just shit, again, right? it's nothing wrong with it. It's just not what I what I was expecting. So he pulls up, and what kind of car do you have? Honda Accord. Oh shit. What year? Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Shit. She asked you what year it was. That's so disrespectful and messy. What kind of car you got? A Honda Accord. What year was it? That's so disrespectful and messy. That's so messy, bro. Honda Accord. What you said? It's just not what I what I was expecting. So he pulls up. Honda Accord. And what kind of car do you Let have? Let me see what this shit look like. Honda Accord. What year is 2008. it? Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight or two thousand. Damn, she trying to say it look older than that. Oh, it's an okay. 08, baby. Damn, baby. Shout out to the AKs. Um, this is not a bad looking car. Look, look, brand new. Brand new don't look bad. Brand, I'm gonna just show y'all a real one because I know it'll pop more on camera. But this is what an 08 Accord look like. You know what I'm saying? Can y'all see that? That ain't bad. That ain't bad. That's what an 08 Accord look like. You know what I'm saying? That's a coupe too. But you know what I'm saying? That 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 ain't bad though. This what a white. This is the white boy look like. The cocaine, co- cocaina. You feel me? That ain't that ain't that ain't too shabby. That ain't bad. If it's clean, you got some tents on it. You got some music in there. You you, you Gucci. You know what I'm saying? That ain't 20s, but you keep them clean though. Okay. Well, anyway, you ain't so got it no was car, the car that I had like when I was like younger. I think I was like eighteen or something like okay. that. Man. Um, and I'm like, oh, okay, this is cool. One thing we have in common, we got to have the same car at one point. She ain't think you know, that. he has it or whatever. But then I get in the car. Oh shit. And I noticed yeah, that, versus. you know, he's like, Yeah, I want to play this music for you. He turns up the music, but he ain't turn up the music on the, the speaker system on broke. the car. He okay. turns up the music on a Bluetooth speaker that's sitting in the middle console God of where we are. Damn. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A blue- God damn! Why doesn't your radio work, man? You go to the flea market and get that shit fixed for the hundo. That bitch had the Bluetooth in the speaker. He had that shit like, hey, yo, listen to this right here. <laughs> He had that Bluetooth speaker sitting like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that, don't you, girl? 
God damn, did the AC work? Yo, what's going on, man? Now I'm on her side, fam. You're not getting to the bag if you ain't got no car radio. And I went a long time without my car radio working, but I wasn't dating nobody. I was chilling. I kind of like the peace and quietness and shit. Sometimes when you're driving and they got that music, you got that damn serial killer hood music playing. It started to make you drive like road rage and start to do speeding like you on GTA. When you ain't got no music, you listen to R&B, some Coca Melon, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. You know, some Grace's Corner. You drive smooth. You don't even be in a rush no more. But fudge, bro. You had a Bluetooth speaker in there? Bluetooth speaker. A big speaker back. system on a car. He okay. turns up the music on a Bluetooth speaker that's sitting in the middle console of where we are. Like, yeah. You check the hill. Yeah, I did that. Speaker. A big box Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> the big saying? one. Hey, you got do what you got to do. The real big one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like... Jeez. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's a lot to deal with on the first date, guys. This is a lot. Well, okay. I guess we rocking with the Bluetooth speaker today. So, okay. okay. So, we riding. We riding. You know, he, we, you know, bumming his music. He, like he said, he does music. So, he played his song for okay. me. Okay. He plays his song for oh, me. Oh, no. You played your own song, bro? Him playing his own song is like dating an ex-athlete that invites you over and he makes you look at his highlight tape. Don't nobody want to see that shit. I don't want to hear your own music. That shit used to happen to me all the time when I lived in LA. Like the the freaking Uber drivers would be like playing their own music. He'd be like, "Oh, you like, like dude?" I'd be like, "Yo, what the hell is this music?" And the nigga be looking like, "Oh, yo, you like this?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's cool. This me right here." Yeah, follow me on Instagram and download my mixtape. No, I'm trying to get to acting class. You're making me late. Drop me off in Melrose. Bicycles are moving faster than traffic. I don't want your mixtape. I don't want to buy your book. I don't care you sell cookies on the side. I don't care if they're adult CBD THC cookies. I don't want that. I want the Uber. And we're listening to music and a Bluetooth speaker go out. That motherfucker it just died. Went out. <laughs> no, no, he no, said no, he no. does music, so he played his song for me. He plays his song for me. No. And we're listening to music and a Bluetooth speaker go out. That motherfucker it just, died. Get a Bluetooth speaker died on top of you having a Bluetooth speaker? You ain't even charged that bit up. You lose, you used all, you should have had the Bluetooth speaker cut off until you picked her up. You was using that shit for the ride over? I wouldn't even have put music on. Like, look, um, shit, the speaker died? That speaker said, bruh, you should have just not put no music on and just talked to her in the car. And you smiling? This shit is not a this is not a laughing matter, fam. You're cooked. I was with I was with you. We were rooting for you. And my Tyra Banks voice. Went out. Worst time. Hey, worst time. And I was in the, I was in the car. Don't like, you damn. hold your laugh in. You laugh at the music and a Bluetooth speaker go out. That motherfucker just, died. Hey, I mean, went out. Worst time. Look, hey, look, look, look. worst time. And I was in, I was in the car looking I'm like, damn. But hey, you know what happens. You know. Hey. It went out. No, we so don't I'm know. like, oh dang, that's the end of the music. So I guess we're gonna ride in silence and just listen to the wind. <laughs> so he's like, nah, you Boop. know what? I got an idea. Hey yo, you got the sound effects on lock, lady. Uh, what's your name? Um, Kalo. You got the sound. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I apologize. But that. And that poof, the speaker died. You, you're killing it. Yeah. He hands me his phone and he tells me to put the, the phone up to my ear no, while, sir. while we ride. That's some middle I'm school, like, high school okay. shit. Okay. So just listen to the music like this. Okay. I couldn't really hear it, mind you, because of the wind and all the ricochets. I couldn't <laughs> hear it much, but I'm, it, it is what it is. You know, yeah. I'm the type, I'm, I'm going to adapt. I'm going to adapt to uh -huh. the situation. So I adapted. Okay. Kids then we get to AMC. And you know everybody. Bro, why are you saying kids at? Why are you saying kids at? You don't take her on a on a rooftop date. You pull up in a in a 08 Honda Accord. You know what I'm saying the car is that's, that's a 15 year old whip. You know what I'm saying which is cool. It gets you to A to B. She's not expecting that when you said you had the bag. You set yourself up for that. You don't have a radio in your car, so that makes the car worse. The first thing I said when I seen that 08 joint, the picture, I said, if he got some tents on that joint and, and keep the inside clean and the music, that's all you needed. Because even when I had a hoopty, 
Back in the day, college days, you get your first whip, you get a hoopty, you put the tents on there, you get the music right, you probably put a, put two tens back there or something. You get, get your little bass booming. And you just make sure it clean and smell good. You didn't have a radio, bro. She's adapting. I would have said, take me home. I don't want to listen to your mixtape from your cellular device. Your phone might die next. Focus on the road. You trying to look at me and see, oh, this is the part I like. This is the part everybody like. Let me see her reaction to it. Look at the road, bro. Look at the road. Damn, is the GPS on? You listening to me? Uh, make a left turn. Oh, I like this part. Is this the only song? Oh, when you park downtown, you know, in the garages, you got to pay for it. Right. With a debit card. They don't take cash or nothing like uh -huh. that. Right. Mm -hmm. So he turns and looks at me, you know, and I'm looking at him and he's looking at me and he's like, I don't have a debit card. And I'm like, he was like, can I use your, your, your is it cool if I use your card? What? And immediately in my mind, what first thought, my first initial thought was I, I, why, like, why don't you have a debit card? I'm initially thinking this bit, he scams. He got in trouble with the bank. They shut this shit down. He been scamming. He don't got no deb debit card. Who the hell ain't got a debit card? Everybody got a debit card. That's how you get paid. Direct deposit. What the? What? You need a debit card, a credit card, uh, uh, some kind of card, library card. Mm -hmm. I know there's millions of reasons as far as why he didn't have a debit card. No, it ain't. I ain't judging at the fact that this man ain't got a debit card. Scammer. But but I am at the same time. Yeah, like, yeah, why don't say you, ain't, don't say you ain't judging. You judging after all the shit you didn't been through, young lady. You judging debit card, bro. So I, I'm like, okay, because I had cool. a debit card. Sure, you can use my debit card. I have a debit card. Like you, you had cat. a debit card on deck. I had a debit card on deck. The chip was malfunctioning. I need a new card, but I had a debit card. It on don't deck. matter. Even if the chip is malfunctioning, you could do the tap shit. The chip is if you popping it in, but you could tap the screen joint. And and, and y'all AMC is outdated that it ain't taking no no cash. Or can't do the tap. So let's be real. But anyway, continue. Oh, because I thought continue. you said that it was something about your job. And that's uh -huh. why you, something was going on with your job. You just started or something. And you ain't had Yeah, I mentioned card. that how my direct deposit has switched. But that didn't that change the fact that I don't have a debit card. Okay, well, he had make a debit card. Sense. The chip was broke. My yeah, make that okay. make sense. Let's be real, though. But continue. All right. So okay. he's he trying to move on. He's trying to get, get up off this topic. Continue. 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 So I hand him the debit card. <laughs> I hand him the debit card, and then the total pop. Well, the total pops up. No, that was after the fact. My bad. I'm fast forwarding. Mm -hmm. Hand him the debit card. He swipes it, or whatever. So honestly, I don't remember if it was after. They make y'all pay for parking at the movie theater. The movie theater down here, you park for free. You can valet if you want. You know what I'm saying? Pull up to the front. But you got to pay for parking at the movie theater? That's crazy work. The movies are before the movies when it showed the total. Um, when he initially swiped it in and showed the total at the end when it showed the total. But anywho, it just kept sticking in my mind. The fact that when we when he, it was time to pay the fee, mm -hmm. it was like $9 or $11, somewhere somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, oh, they taxing, like, oh, like, he was upset about it. And I, he was like, oh, but, you know, it's <laughs> cool. We, you know, we going to rock with it. We going to rock with I it. But I'm upset. thinking in my head, like taxing what's up like i don't know it's just it's little stuff no debit card taxing bluetooth speaker it's everything just started adding up that's right? a lot adding up that's so not then we stuff. get into the movies we get into the movies and you know we're you know getting the snacks and whatever and all of that stuff mm -hmm. right i noticed that he grabs some candy <laughs> he grab he grabs some candy and he sits it to the side Right, and we, you know, he scans everything else, excluding the candy, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I didn't say nothing. I'm just like, I'm all for it. Like, you know, we, you, you know, we go to the movies. It's like, look, because I'm all for taking snacks and stuff in the movies. I, I'm guilty <laughs> of it. I do it all the time. Don't take, if we go to the movies, I'm bringing my snacks in the bag. I got my okay, own facts. chips, Me too. my own candies. I'm not paying yeah. seven no, no five movie fifty theater price. Right. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, you know, the fact that he kind of like sneak tip stole the candy and made me think like, dang, can he just not afford the candy or did he just, you get what I'm Now, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something, man. I have no problem with sneaking stuff into the movies. Candy, drinks, I'm sneaking stuff in. She just said that too. But I'm not stealing from the movie theater. That's absurd. That is hood rat behavior. Don't steal in general. 
do not steal with me. I will never talk to you again. I do, I do not like that. Now she's an accessory because he's stealing trolleys. He's stealing Snickers and Twizzlers and, 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 and Skittles and shit. Why are you stealing like that? There's hella cameras in there. And you sticky fingers at the movie theaters on your first date? That's wild behavior, man. That's absurd. I'm saying mm. so. It's just like it. It just all added up. But I'm like, it actually it didn't add it up. Add up because he stole it. It didn't add up. He's a thief. Would have been different. She snitching. You snitching on him, but this some shit. This some snitch type shit right here. You snitching on a nigga for stealing. High key, low key. AMC gonna have his pitch up next time he try to go over there. Like, now nah, you can't come back in here, bro. You be stealing. And if he says something like, "Hey, look." I'm not paying five seventy five for this candy. <laughs> we about to sell this candy, and I would have been like, "Let's get it, put it in my bag or something." Okay. Like, but the fact that, that, you know, I, it's, just, it's just shit. little stuff. So you asked me initially, you know, what what made me feel that way mm -hmm. as far as you know if I felt like he didn't have it or not. It was just little situations yeah, like that, and I actually felt bad about like getting snacks and stuff. Like, dang, what if this dude can't you know afford the snacks? I feel now you're bad a charity for ordering. Kiss. A extra juice mm. or something or icy. <laughs> Maybe I should just drink water. Like, I don't know. <laughs> so it's just. It <laughs> she said, Maybe I should just drink water from the fountain. The water fountain. <laughs> hey, bro, you was down bad on this date, boy. You need to take them goals out your mouth, take them chains off, take all that off. You need to put that brown t shirt on back in the day, like when you first start NBA 2K and you ranked to 60. You didn't even have that brown shirt on. It's, it's an uncomfortable situation. So it's yeah. just like, like I said, at the end of the day, I just was looking for him to just keep it 100. You know, if, if, you, if you don't got it like that, and you just don't got it like that. It's okay. Like, just just be honest. Like, because okay. just be honest. Okay. That's all. All right. So, Ishmael, um, just to give you a chance to, you know, say your piece as well. Let's start off with the card. So it sounded like, was she paying for the date or what? How did that go? <sighs> so much lies, y'all. So much mm. lies. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, she didn't pay for nothing. And okay. I didn't just take no damn candy. Mm. Like, who needs to steal candy? Why we all would know she make that, that up? The movies, everything is overpriced. <laughs> Come on. And we now. all know when you go to the movies, you, AMC, you got to pay with a debit card. No, actually. I paid with my debit card. He actually, gave me the cash. Actually, right. So, but they don't, also, they don't take Apple Pay and they don't take cash. Because she's trying to talk about, oh, she's concerned with me having shit. I, my bad. Having money. I had a whole lot of cash on me that night, and I had my... And now you, now you sounding more and more like a scammer. First of all, y'all need to go to a better theater because they don't take no damn cash or no Apple Pay. That don't, I hate that shit. I, I hate when I go to barbershops and they be like, oh, we cash only, and they got an ATM in that charge $7. Why? It's 2024. Why y'all don't have this shit in line and together yet? I'm not doing that. Y'all want to get paid on the table. Y'all want somebody to pay y'all through Zelle. Uh, I'm, not, oh, app, oh, cash. I'm not doing none of that, fam. But secondly, she just... That was a shot at you about that, that debit card, and... She, who makes up that stealing candy story? She didn't make that shit up. You stole that candy, bro. That don't even make took no sense. Like, I'm going to go in and show and say he stole candy. No, you stole the candy. Now, what kind of candy you stole? Debit card, which happened to just malfunction. I had just used it during the day. Did so I use I my debit needed... card or no? You did use your debit okay. card. So what? That's, but what's your, but what's your what's your point, though? They didn't take cash, and they didn't take Apple Pay, the other two forms that I could pay. Came unprepared. And what? You, you ain't never to... been there before? You ain't never been to that AMC before? How you ain't know this? You gotta do something different. So let me rewind too. Back, let's start from the beginning with all these lies, right? Okay. Mm. First off, she trying to sig on my car, right? You didn't have a car at the time. Pause. Uh, secondly, we don't even uh, need these close-ups in the interview, bro. Y'all can just keep one camera. Y'all might need three cameras for the actual show, but y'all do not need three cameras for this. The close-ups is, is irrelevant. They're nice and close to each other. The close-ups ain't even really hitting on nothing like that. We can see them clearly. She tries straight to, across the board. I would, I would delete some of that. All that top space. I know y'all trying to get her name in it, but make their chairs higher or something like that. Put it out there like as if she left it for me to choose. Mm -hmm. When literally you heard her say she gave me her or like her availability, mm -hmm. and it was it was really like nothing, nothing that worked out for me. I'm a busy person too, mm -hmm. so we literally came to a conclusion together on the phone and decided together. She didn't leave nothing up to me. We decided together. So bullshit. But um, back to the car, right? Ain't nothing wrong with a condo accord. I, I, in the show, we can go back to the show. We go, we play what I said. I said, if you have personality, the bag gonna be there. I didn't say I have the bag. I'm not a broke person, right? But I work every single day. I take care of my daughter. I take care of people as well. My sister, I got a little brother, like, 
don't, ever, don't you know? Mm-hmm. But I'm not no rich person. I never, I never acted like that. I never said that. This is what I'll be so, talking about, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't that many rich people out here. Everybody wants somebody that's getting to the bag, yeah, that's rolling to the bag. But you know what I'm saying? If you, if you talk about, I think, I think it's like uh, 16, 70 percent of the men in in the U.S. make over 100k, or in the world make over 100k. And then if you put that between 20 and 40, and then unmarried men and the men that's not obese, and uh, and and if you just like black men and you just talk about black men. That percentage is down to like three, four percent, and, and don't even factor in how tall you like your man. It's slim pickings, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't it ain't a lot out there. Just putting it out there like that. A lot of people don't realize. Just just use the logistics. Use use regular math. So the point, the the fact of the matter that you were that you were intrigued by that is giving me like gold digger vibes. So that that's that's crazy. But uh uh. A Honda, ain't nothing wrong with the Honda Accord, you know. Everybody has cars. At least I have a car. It's people out there that don't have cars. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Uh, moving on to the Bluetooth speaker. Working. You know, uh, where I got the cars from Hold Tucson. On, if y'all live out here in Arizona. Hold on, y'all. He about to talk about this Bluetooth speaker. Turn your volume up because I want to hear this shit. Has cars. At least I have a car. It's people out there that don't have cars. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's another thing. Uh, moving on to the Bluetooth speaker. You know, uh, where I got the cars from Tucson. If y'all live out here in Arizona, you know Tucson's damn near two hours away. Mm-hmm. I do a lot. You know, I barely I work during the day. I barely have time to do a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna take a lot of my time to go handle get a little face. It's like the face for the stereo okay. is missing. So uh, the person who owns like, the people that own the car, they have it. I'm not gonna go out there to travel to get it. They're not gonna bring it here. Man, I'm get them the mail that, that shit. Time. Okay. So in the meantime, in Tucson, I'm, I'm from Cali. We we get we make it happen. You know what I'm saying? We do what we do. Mm-hmm. I got a Bluetooth speaker in the car so that when I do want to listen to music, it's right there. I can listen to it because honestly I, I i drive without music a lot of the time because i just like to to think you know to have my mind my space to think yeah. so that's another thing but uh as far as bringing up the she she's worried about me not being able to pay like first off uh before you get into that guys i don't give a damn what's going on with your speaker guys at home or what's going on with your radio if if a girl get in your car and you start playing music from a bluetooth speaker it's never going to sit well especially as first, that first impression is ass it's not good. And vice versa. If you got into her car and she turned the Bluetooth speaker on, we don't care as much as about that shit, but you still going to be like, oh, shit. She playing straight from a Bluetooth, bro. When we decided to go to the movies, mm-hmm. I spent more money at the movies, which was over, what, $110 because I paid for both of us. $110. And, and the movies. I paid for both of us. Easy. And she chose that nasty ass fucking chicken, <clears throat> chicken tenders. I didn't tell her. I told her not to, actually. I'm like, that, why are you going to choose chicken tenders from here? This is a movie theater. But <laughs> that's what she wanted, okay? Because there's other shit you could have chose. Yeah. The little pizza thing I had, that shit was fire, okay? That pizza was nasty. AMC, <laughs> hey, no, AMC too. doing their thing, okay? AMC and Harkins. I don't know. I don't really go to the movies, but I heard good things about them. So <laughs> say what you want. But, uh, Besides that, I had cash on me. She's seen the cash that I pulled out. I was trying to pay the guy with. He's like, oh, we don't take cash. Mm-hmm. I tried to do Apple Pay because my I put my card in and it just malfunctioned. He's like, oh, it's not working. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I got Apple Pay too. He's like, oh, no, we don't take Apple Pay. I'm like, oh, I got cash. Oh, we don't take cash. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, damn. So in my mind, I'm, I'm, I was low-key a little embarrassed just because that's not even how I do. Yeah. But it's like, mm-hmm. do that or think of something, what, go home, don't go on the date, yeah. you know? So the fact that she's saying that it was uncomfortable or wasn't what she expected, that was the time for her to make her exit, right? But mm-hmm. what she chose to do. How's she going to make the exit? You picked her up, bro. You the, you, you the ride, bro. You, you, the, you the chauffeur. That's the thing. That's why I said I would call the Uber. Her, I call her Uber. Sit and watch that movie. Sit and eat the chicken tenders. Okay, then. Let's be real, right? That's what you said. Let's be real, right? Okay, let's be real and authentic. Like, that's, that's all I'm saying. Let's just be mess. real. Because at the end of the day, we had a real connection. We had a real bond. And I'm a yeah. real person. I'm not for the internet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to go viral. I'm not trying to do none of that. I'm real, for real. And I was on the show for real love. And uh, I don't feel like when she was on the show, that's not what she was really looking for. Because oh, okay. she mentions again, she thought I had a bag. And that's why you was attracted to me? Like, come on. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Okay. So from from your viewpoint, it seems like she was on the show for like the wrong reasons. Yeah. Then it's like during the whole experience of the date. And then what I literally heard from her mouth was that she enjoyed it. She she enjoyed her time. She had a great time. Mm-hmm. She wanted to go on another date. So it's crazy. We just going to be in there in the, with the Bluetooth speaker on another date. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. Okay. Anything you want to say to, in response to that? I mean, it's a lot, but you know, is it worth it? Probably not. Um, <laughs> yeah, because been- so that means she was down for another date, though. Uh, I'm just letting y'all know, because she if she wasn't, she'd nip that shit in the bud just now. 
capping the whole time. That's why I definitely did not cap. You know, Ishmael. Anything that I said was definitely facts. What did I? There's nothing that I didn't say that wasn't facts. It's it's how you try to put it though. That's it's it's very key on how you put something. It's how you're. It's very key. It's how you're. It's not how I'm taking it. We can very clear when I speak. It's very key on how you put something, y'all. And the thing, the thing about both of them too. Is that this is the sad part about this, and I wish the the host would have said something too. Well, I would have asked, what was positive from the date? What did y'all take? Po- what What was a good time? What was a, a a good memory, or a good you know what I'm saying something good to happen? Because for even for him to say, oh, she wanted a second date, and for her not to deny that, it had to be a vibe or something going on at some point in time. Like, but it's just all negativity. So I wish we could have like you know what I'm saying I don't know. It's, it's eight minutes left. They might do a little something, something, but we we'll see right now. I don't even know what the hell I just did, guys. I ain't never do no shit like this. This is nuts. Can't take me nowhere. Speak. It's very it's key how on how you put it. something, y'all. But let me speak, please, because she ahead. asked me a question. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. Sure. Go ahead. Um, so I just feel like, like I said, you know, the mo- whole moral to the story is, is just keep it 100. Keep, keep it 100. Please. Because a person is going to find please. out. And keep your Bluetooth charge. You know, about you anyways. Mm. So it's just like, keep it 100. So what? You know, so I'm, so what did you find out about? Hold on, one second. Bad. Let's let her finish. I'll go right back okay. to you. So yeah, basically, like I said, just keep it hundred. I wasn't trying to get on this show and bash nobody. I came on this show. She she asked me how the date went. I told you how the date went. That's my perspective as far as how the date went. At the same time, I didn't say anything that didn't happen. Everything that I said happened. It was facts, you know. So again. If 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 I hurt your feelings in any way, Ishmael, oh, or if not I at all. Feel, if definitely you feel played in any way, that's not. Oh, the case. definitely not at all. I'm a gentleman. You no, know, that's not. That's not. That's not. My feelings would have been a little hurt that people found out that my car has a Bluetooth speaker in it, and the Bluetooth speaker died, and I don't got no debit card, and and all of that shit. That my feelings would have been a little hurt. I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, damn, bitch, you ain't had to do me like that on camera. That's crazy work right there. Not what I do. That's not my character at all. Um, I'm not a gold digger. Um, at all. I don't have a gold digger bone in my body, actually. I wouldn't go that far. You was a little upset that rooftop wasn't rooftop. You was, you, you was mad that you ended up at the AMC and not the rooftop eat. Um. And they kept talking about they be burning the bag up like three, four times now. If it ain't, if it ain't, if it ain't worried about it, then don't bring it up. You know, uh, what else did you say that I did? I mean, you said a lot that I kind of disagree with, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, you know, I hold my own. I've been taking care of myself for a very long time. Yes, you should. We're um, adults. So, the you trying to make it seem like I didn't have a car? Oh, come on, dude. I like, I have a car. I've been having a car. Been driving since I was eighteen. I said at the time, since I was 12, so been having a car I since making I was it seem like nothing. No, he, he wasn't trying to mention that at first. He was trying to be like silent about that and then Arlette bring that up she's like so what's going on with your car did you, did you did you not have a car it's not working you you did though you insinuated it but you know again it is what it is you know again I didn't come on here to shoot anybody down or nothing like that um I think that Ishmael is a cool guy I think he's very cool which is why you know it's kind of upsetting that he responds the way that he does for one um and for two it's just like Dude, just again, just be yourself. If I was in that space, just right now, I'm just not in a space to date someone, you know, to where I just feel like if you got to lie, like I said, if you got to lie about what you have. and, and I wish you would have finished this sentence. She didn't finish her sentence. She changed it. She was like, right. She was about to say right now, I'm not in a space to date someone. And it would have been something else. It, 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 the sentence wasn't going to be finished with to date someone who has to lie about what he it's has. To date someone. You know, look, right there, to where, right there, look, right there, finish it. Finish I it. just feel like ah. if you got to lie, like I said, if you got to lie about what you have and, 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 and how you move in, then, you know, it's just, you probably should re- reconsider probably dating at the time. Maybe just, you know, just chill or, or get to a more comfortable space or whatever. Or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what advice, advice else to give other than what I, what I said. Okay. Um, but yeah. Okay. All right. Any final words? Definitely, because... Uh, oh, wait, wait. I'm just... sorry. I did want to add something. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut anybody off. Mm-hmm. He said that I asked for a second date. That cap. <laughs> because when we were at the movies, this one thing I didn't mention. When we were Bruh. at the movies, he asked me... He it wasn't. He asked me if I was going to pay for the next date. Like He was like, yeah, so this date is on me. The next one is on you, right? 
So I'm thinking in my head, this guy here. No, like that's wild. Like, no, I'm not finna pay for the next date. Like, I don't know. I just felt like it was just it was a wild thing to ask me on a first date. Mm. I've never been asked that from a guy before, so it it threw me off. I bought one so a second on his date. Investment. I never said that. <laughs> you know, as as far as communication. Like I said, you know, I think Ishmael is a cool guy, mm -hmm. conversation wise. Um, that's all it. That's that's all it ever was. was. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's crazy. She keeps telling all this good stuff about me, but saying how her experience wasn't what she thought it thought. So uh, yeah, you didn't. Why. Let me talk now, because it's my turn, right? So yeah. uh, you you. Let me ask you, when we had a conversation, not right in this interview, did you not say that you enjoyed your time with me and that you would like to go on another date? Ooh. Again, I did not say, I, up, I did man. not say another date, Ishmael, because I've already felt uncomfortable with the whole, that's you cap. asked me to pay for the next that's date, cap. and then how the date just went overall. All right, that's cool. Now, you, as you far as me question. having a good time, you answered the question, so as far as me speak. having a good time, you answered the question. I thought that it was, it was cool for what it was. I thought it was cool for what it was. I, I feel like I would be lying if I said I had a terrible time, mm. but I also feel like I'd be lying if I said I had the greatest time of my life because it was a movie. Like, how bad can a movie be? That you wanted to go see that we we agreed on. I wanted to take you to the rooftop, right. but you ain't have time. So, it's been a lot of cap, y'all. Like, it's I, I, I don't really do with other cap. Like I said, y'all hear it. She said she enjoyed her time, y'all. Like, it wasn't none of that. I didn't ask her to pay for the next date. What type of stuff is that? Like, Ishmael. what? And we it's my turn to talk, lie. so let me finish, right? Now. Let me, let me finish, right? Because uh, she's trying to put it out there. Uh, like talking about her, she's been doing this. Like I had never, I haven't mentioned anything about that you do or anything like that, but you're still trying to speak on me as far as if you figured something out. And I'm still confused on what you figured out because if you not got go digger ways and you didn't think I had a bag, what 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 did you figure out? Like what I'm a normal I person. Never... I'm a normal person, right? It's not your turn to talk. Let me finish. I'm a normal person. I'm a normal person, right? I never claim to have anything that I don't have. Like. What? Like, I'm a, I said I was an artist. I'm a, I'm a model. I do different shit. So I have to look good as an image. But I never claimed to be rich. I never claimed to have a bag. So so it's, it's crazy that you claim that you figured something out. I don't I don't understand what you figured out. And uh, you cap, you straight capping for the internet. And that's, like I said, I'm a real person. I don't, I'm not even finna entertain that no more. Because I, I, you can, y'all y'all can see. You're about to drop the mic. <laughs> You're about to drop the mic and walk off. He frustrated. He flustered. He upset. Um... It was about the date. The date just wasn't extravagant enough for her. The movies is not extravagant at all. But if you like somebody, you feeling somebody, and the mutual interest is there, and the sexual attraction is there, she gonna enjoy that movie. So you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, if she felt like she was lied to, and he said he had the bag, she gonna feel the type of way too. She, she probably throwing off from that all that car shit going on. Man, you pull up in the 08, you pull up with that Bluetooth. This Bluetooth die, you ask. After the Bluetooth died, I should have wrapped that shit up. I'm not listening to your music from a cell phone, fam. Like she enjoyed herself. Yeah, I had a speaker in my car. Whoop de doo. My chip, my chip on my car malfunctioned. I had cash, literally cash that she saw, and I even had Apple Pay. So you know, uh, it's just crazy to think that somebody was worried about having to pay an eight. And most of the most of the, the the problem with this date is centered around money. The date, the location, his car, uh, year, the radio not working. The debit card uh, malfunctioning. He said he said he had cash on him, but the place he should have did research and see and saw if that was going to be acceptable because everywhere is different. So he should have did a better job with that. But every, all the problems are literally money based problems. So like she never said he had a bad personality. He couldn't communicate well. He wasn't funny. I didn't find him attractive. All of that is there, but the bells and whistles are just not there for her. And on the flip side. He doesn't have to worry about that for her because the guy is just is supposed to, you know, his first day he's paying for everything. He, you know, her car malfunctioned or didn't have oil. He scooped her. It was easy peasy. If that was vice versa, if he would have been like, yo, my car needs oil, come pick me up from the date, they probably wouldn't have went on the date. Even if she had a perfectly working car, she probably wouldn't have did that shit. So I don't know. Didn't have to put braids a finger to pay anything you know what i'm saying i'm very much a gentleman i don't act like i got it, everything like i'm rich but best believe y'all gonna see me in the future i'm gonna have it all okay, okay? All right. but uh you know peace and love to everything like i said i enjoyed my time i didn't that's not the response i get if i would whip out my phone show y'all text but i like i said i'm not gonna entertain no shit no more man like she enjoyed her time she had a great time we would have continued on but you know the, this i can't i can't i can't deal with no capping no lying I, I keep shit real like i can't i don't do nothing for the internet <laughs> okay 
All right. Well, I mean, I guess it's safe to say that there's no second date coming up. Have no. Probably you guys not. Communicated probably, since then. Probably not. He 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 clearly is hot. You know about me telling the truth. Yeah, about I'm, the date. I'm, I'm very hot. You know, know. I. He bothered again for the seventh seventy fifth thousand thousand time. I did not cap. <laughs> there's nothing that I capped about. What did I cap Played about? You wouldn't be able to say. I didn't cap about anything, you know, at the end of the day. I don't do anything for clout. What clout? Like, what? at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm just being, I'm just keeping it a hundred. You know, that's, 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 that's it. That's okay. my motto. I don't, I don't, <laughs> I'm not like this guy. Like, he really trying to paint this picture to make me seem like I'm a bad person. I'm not a bad person. I just came on this show to, you know, have fun, mm. meet some cool people. Who spoke and, and first? And I did though? that. I enjoyed myself. First, I had though? a great time on the show. It What's was, it was, it was, it was a blessing. Okay. All right, um, all right yeah. wrap this thing up, man. You talking about capping and all of that. Like, <laughs> Okay, well, I do thank you both for coming on and speaking your truth, um, you know, about how everything went down. And ain't down. no text messages to show, either. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Stop that. Look at his face. So, as I far as in the future for both of you guys, are there any upcoming projects that we should be on the lookout from either one of you? Nah. Hold up. Ladies first. Okay. Um, All right, we're going to wrap it up right there, man. Best of luck to both of these individuals. This was a mess. I thought the other one was a mess. These These... Hopefully one day we get a positive reunion link up or some shit. This is crazy. Let me know what y'all thought about this video in the comment section. All the whole, all of this from it's, it was so much to break down. You can leave multiple comments if you want to. I'm gonna reply back to some of y'all. Y'all be respectful down there. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. Have your notifications turned on so you don't miss a, a video and click on some of the greatness that's on the screen right now. We got the latest podcast. I got my web series right there and some other cool stuff, man. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Be safe out there and be blessed. Happy Easter.